So in this video, I'm going to talk about the reactive intermediates such as radicals, carbocations, and carboanions. And so first, reactive intermediates are essentially they're short-lived things that form along the path from reactant to product. And so it's important to remember that relatively these are unstable compared to like regular products but we can talk about stability um, within the intermediate group and so there's three types we're gonna talk about radicals carbocations and carb anions and so first let's just define them so radicals are neutral with single electron so an example would be C H H H and then a radical there and then next will be a carb carbocation so positively charged and does not have a lone pair so it'd be C H H H and then a positive charge and the carb anion is negatively charged with a lone pair. So it would be C, H, 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 and then a lone pair there, giving it a negative charge. And so we have to essentially recognize um, the stability of radicals, carbocations, and carbanions. And that's really important in organic chemistry. And so when it comes to radicals, we'll start off with radicals. So radicals um, have a p orbital with one electron. So p orbital with one electron. And so first I'll just tell you which ones are more stable. So tertiary is most stable and then secondary then primary then methyl most stable least stable and so what do I mean by that well tertiary let's say you have a C CH3 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 and then a radical that would be a tertiary while a meth a tertiary radical while a methyl would be this you have H's there and then a radical so tertiary is the most stable while methyl is the least stable and this is due to the fact of hyperconjugation so hyper conjugation And what that means is that methyl groups can donate electron density. So it essentially has more electrons to donate to stabilize the um, radical. And so this is the same thing when it comes to carbocations. So carbocations so if methyl groups are electron donating it can help stabilize the positive charge so for example it'll be the same thing tertiary is more stable than secondary more stable than primary and more stable than methyl and so once again C C 
CH3, CH3, CH3 with a positive charge there would be a tertiary and then methyl would be C, H, H, H and that would be least stable. So most stable, least stable. And so essentially once again the positive charge is stabilized by hyperconjugation which is electron delocalization. And then finally we have carbanions and so as you can kind of guess this will be an exception where it will be the opposite in that if methyl groups are donating electrons you don't want to donate more negative to a negative carbon so as a result methyl will be more stable than primary, more stable than secondary, more stable than tertiary. So this would be most stable and this would be least stable just because you don't want more negative charge being donated to a carbon that's already negative. And so essentially what you need to take out of this video is that tertiary carbocations are most stable, tertiary radicals are most stable, but carb anions are the opposite. So a methyl carb anion will be most stable. And this is actually going to come up a lot when it comes to predicting products in the future when you learn about that for organic chemistry. And so it's a pretty important concept to grasp. And once again, I hope this video helped. If it did, please like it and share it with your friends.